Doom and gloom or a joyous new world? The choice is yours. Greetings, dear ones. We come to you as a messenger of Lord Michael. We wish to speak to you today about your future and the future of your world as you know it. Are you buying into the doom and gloom and the destruction scenario? Or are you at peace in the knowledge that the universal plan of the Creator is perfect? You will get what you expect, you know. You are in the throes of a dawning of a new age, a birthing process. And the birth of something new is always uncomfortable, but quickly forgotten in the rapture and beauty of new life. You who are light workers, the vanguard of the new age and the new awareness, have a responsibility to focus your energy on the beauty and perfectness of the process. In other words, you must neutralize the negative energy that is bombarding your world via the fear, depression, and feelings of hopelessness of those who are not capable of absorbing the increased energy being infused on your planet. The dark side of humankind is being exposed. It will no longer be tolerated. For those who continue to operate in the outdated mode of animal-human via greed, violence, selfishness, mistrust, and denial, it will indeed seem as if the world has gone mad and chaos reigns. So more important than ever is your responsibility of building your inner power source and focusing this energy on balance, peace, and harmony, first within yourself then joining with your spiritual partners and creating a synergy so powerful it could offset the negative energies of thousands. This is possible for you have the power of the masters working with you. The masses are separated and impacting their energies within and on themselves, whereas you are gathering your strength and permeating the earth and the ethers with it, magnifying and drawing even vaster amounts of positive energy to you. You are acting as an anchor for the Mother Earth as well. You are creating safe havens within the midst of turmoil. Do not allow fear or doubt to enter your consciousness. If you accept as fact all the negative events predicted for your near future, this will indeed be your future. The more people who allow this kind of energy to enter their minds and then project it outwardly as their truth, the more likely these predictions are to become a reality. Remember, you are becoming co-creators within your own spiritual master self as you learn to envision these things you wish to create and then infuse them with positive affirmation. If you do not discipline your thinking processes and especially your emotions at all times, there is a distinct possibility you will also manifest the cataclysmic events and the dire predictions that are being circulated by well-meaning people. Are you not aware that it is possible for the transformation to take place in a miraculous way with a minimum of pain and destruction? Yes, the earth needs cleansing, and yes, the old ways of being and thinking must be transmuted. But you and those like you have been awakened and empowered specifically for the reason that you are capable of accomplishing these miracles. We of the higher dimensions and realms are limited as to how much assistance we can give without the permission and acceptance of at least a portion of humankind. As you build your God consciousness, you allow us to increase our assistance to and through you. We need you to realize your vast potential. We encourage you to accept the universal truth that you are a co-creator with the God force. What are your wildest dreams? What sort of world do you wish your earth to become? Build it in your mind, hold it in your heart, and permeate your emotional nature with the yearning for it to manifest, and then begin to affirm it into reality. All of the unmanifested energy of the universe is at your disposal. Just reading and gaining knowledge is not enough. Just yearning and wishing is not enough. Know that you are co-creator God's becoming. You must believe with all your being that you have an unlimited supply of all good things, all perfect things, just waiting for you to claim them and bring them to fruition. Dear ones, you must rise above what is thought to be good or bad. You must gather about you a cloak of neutrality, of non-judgment. 
You must go forth in your awareness of perfect peace and harmony in attunement with your higher self and with your God consciousness. Do not be swayed and do not feel you have to justify your beliefs or force your ever-expanding awareness on others. If one comes to you in need and asks for assistance and answers, indeed supply what is needed. But remember the code of the Masters. Dare to know, dare to do, and be silent. Build your power within you. Reinforce it through joint action and the loving energy of your spiritual family, and then go forth in all your dynamic glory. If you stay the course, nothing can stop you from reaching your highest goal. It is assured. Over time, more and more, each of you will become attuned to your own inner awareness via intuition, telepathic messages, or clairvoyance. If you stay centered and in control of your thought process, you will always be informed as what you should be doing or where you should do it. Remember, you will always be in the right place at the right time. Our purpose is to give you encouragement and to assure you that your efforts are bearing fruit. You are making a difference. Can you not feel the difference in yourself? Enjoy the birth of your new awareness and the transformational process of your earth. Make it an exciting, exhilarating experience, a journey into new dimensions and the forerunner of an earthly paradise. The choice is yours. You have a saying, the sky is the limit. We tell you that even the universe is not the limit. Know that you are loved and ever under the protection and guidance of Lord Michael and the Masters. So be it.